Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comment below. And also, don't forget to click on the notification bell for more videos. Enjoy your reading. So, guys, this is now a quick recap from our last chapter. At that time, I wished I could break free from the shackles. So now that was a distant dream. Enjoying the freedom to play in the amazement park. Run freely. So now she's finally out at the amazement park. She's running. Just the way she imagined it before. Wait a minute. While she's running, Long Xiao, I guess, is asking her to slow down. You must wear a leash before entering the amusement park. A leash like she is a pet. <laughs> but Google was surprised by that. Like, a leash? Me wearing a leash. She doesn't seem to be happy. We can see now she was a, she's now she became a runner. What's wrong with putting that on? Is that a leash? So she just saw a thing that he's calling a leash. She's just like, oh, what is this wolf problem? What kind of leash is this? This is just so weird. Isn't that <laughs> the chastity pants I saw in a book before? Wow, what kind of book were you reading, Coco? So shameful. So now she is running, trying to escape the leash situation yeah long xia was just like you go go stop following her but go go doesn't listen she's maybe about to bump onto this kid I won't wear that thing. Go, go. Long Xiao is trying to tell her, be careful. Stop running like that. But of course, who will listen to him? To what he has to say? No one. Now he tried to grab her. But Kogo it was amazed by what he saw. He saw a boy, that boy seems to be terrified. Gogo opens her eyes. A human boy? So he was shivering, shaking. He seems to be scared, very scared of the situation. Put on the leash quickly. It's too dangerous to run around. So he's there trying to make her wear the leash. And the little boy is running away. Don't grab me. That is Gogo now asking, saying like Long Xiao shouldn't grab him. Gogo? Gogo, he, she escaped. Now she's following the kid. 
Wait, kid, let me take another look at you. And she's being rude. This is actually rude. And they can see the kids. He has ears. Animal ears. So she's surprised, like, oh, I thought it was a human kid, but that wasn't the case. And the kid tried to scare her. He can transform actually into a beast. Not really scare her, but he's trying maybe to defend himself. It turned out to be a little orc, not a human boy. And Longxia was angry. He wasn't hiding his anger, scaring the kid. These two are just bullies. I guess this is the father and the other partners. The boy ran to the father. What's the matter? My female wanted to play with him, chased him and scared him. What kind of composition do you think is needed? It's okay, he is a tough kid. He won't be scared so easily. So they did not ask for any compensation. Let's go ride the bumper boat with mom. His mother is here too, but I don't see the female orc. Did she go shopping? Adana, this girl, she is so delusional. It seems that female beastmen can be seen in the amusement park. She has some hope that she can see a female orc. Gogo seems to like the, the cup very much. She will definitely be a good mother in the future. Now, uh, Dong Xiao is contemplating future that's all for this chapter thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and leave your comment below and also don't forget to click on the notification bell for more videos bye